Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Darwin software to analyze your data. First you need an Excel file like this. As you see there are columns and rows. In the first column I wrote down the number of the variables. As you see I have 30 different variables here and in the first row I wrote down the number of the markers. Mm, I actually extended the DNA marker here, like this. And I just uh, wrote down um, 1 or 0 in every cell. If the result is present, I just uh, put 1, and if it's absent, I put 0. And here, in the A1 cell, you should write down the number of the columns first and uh, the number of the rows and just put a space between them as you see I have 30 different columns so um, here is 30 and then 24 um, just like the number of the rows and these, uh, num these names are actually aren't really important because it, they are not going to show up in the tree that you're gonna make with Darwin. So when you make your Excel file you have to save this as a text file so the Darwin software can read it. So go to here and choose text and save it. Okay now go to Darwin And um, this software is based on dissimilarity analyzers. So go through these steps. First, import data matrix and choose the text file that you made previously and save the new file. Uh, this step is going to make a VAR file. So save it. These are all mm, just correct. Click on OK. Done. Go to the similarity. For both uh, drawing a tree or uh, doing a principal coordinate analysis, you have to do this a step first. So go to the similarity and calculate from single data. Okay. Choose the VAR file. Mm, as you see, this is that is going to make a DIS format. Save it and click on OK. It may take a while. OK, done. First, I'm going to make a factorial analysis. So, go through here and choose this file make a new file and click on OK here we go this is a principal coordinate analysis and you can change the display from here so I'm just gonna close it and go to tree for drawing a tree, you first uh, need to do this step. Go to Tree Construction. You can both choose Hierarchical Clustering or Neighbor Joining. I choose Hierarchical Clustering. Okay, choose the DIS file and let me do Save the new file. This step is going to make a ARB file that is the only format that you need for drawing a tree so save it and click on OK done now close this window and go to trees and draw so choose this file and here we go that's the tree that we made and you can choose different uh, types of trees from here and you can save it okay thanks for watching